So hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fanciers. So I have uh, installed uh, Fixel OS on our Redmi 12 5G. So we have uh, started the development journey for this particular device and I have made some 5-6 videos. So uh, if you are interested to watch those and I uh, you want to know how I installed this and got to this point, there is a playlist uh, going on which you can go to playlist section of our Tech Fanciers channel. In this video, I will be sharing my uh, personal experience of uh, this particular uh, ROM uh, which is Pixel OS made for our uh, specific device sky so let's get started so first we'll uh, start with the build details so this build is currently uh, running with the uh, security patch of september 5 which is a little bit uh, older when compared to uh, we have uh, october and even november we have so that is there and this build is is built on uh, november 9th so with the uh, kernel here we have uh, 5.10.160 which is running on top of uh, Android 13. What are all the cool things about uh, this particular uh, custom ROM? Well, usually uh, Pixel Experience or any other AOSB based without any customization, you don't uh, get much customization, it will be pure stock. Here we have uh, some Google specific features and uh, some custom ROM related feature. For example, uh, we have this uh, network monitor indicator which I will be uh, using it if the ROM doesn't have it, I may not even. Uh, use it as a daily driver so we have this uh, network monitor indicator what uh, it will do is it will show the speed which you have it in the MIUI you definitely know it so uh, the next thing is this uh, unlimited google photo storage so here as well also uh, you have it so this pixel can take uh, unlimited photos and videos at no charge so pixel uh, feature is exclusively it is there also the another uh, cool part is uh, it has as it is considering this as a uh, pixel device you have a magic eraser and other uh, pixel features so here if you click on edit you have this uh, option like uh, uh, where it is magic eraser uh, you have the magic eraser uh, which will uh, do really good job see so this magic eraser you have it which is pixel exclusive the look and feel itself it's uh, pixel one and i have uh, clicked this wallpaper see this one effect so this is really really great you also have phase unlock uh, which is uh, working uh, perfectly fine and this cool uh, uh, what i would say minimal design which i have set and the look of it is actually cool i actually like this uh, look and feel so these are all some of the major things uh, which uh, led me to like about this particular pixel voice so what is not uh, good well uh, there are frame rate glitches uh, hits uh, so this is actually 90 hits display so i have uh, enabled the data also I, you have to go to display and here you will be having two one so peak display i have set uh, 90 and minimum also i said 90 so it will be all the time running at uh, 90 fps there is no issue with that but uh, whenever there is some uh, swiping gesture is happening uh, this is having some uh, jittering effect going on so that uh, what i would say that the fluidness is uh, somewhat missing here and the next thing is uh, this uh, double tap to wake up which is uh, not working of course if you click here uh, your fingerprint will work and open uh, that is there but uh, double tap to wake up is not there you have to depend on this one and the next thing is the security patch which is a bit older as i said earlier so these are the some of the major features uh, or major uh, advantage and disadvantages of this particular uh, ROM. Now we will see some uh, statistics of this one. So here I have run this many uh, test cases. So first we will start with the battery. So battery backup wise I am getting uh, almost uh, eight to uh, 7 to 8 hours in 5G, auto 5G. So here you have something called auto 5G. Uh, whenever you require a network and have connection is good, it will automatically switch to 5G. When it is not, uh, it will be connecting to 4G. Okay, now it is connected to 4G, I believe. So based on that, it will be getting somewhere like that. And charging is a bit slower, I believe. So it's taking almost 90 minutes to nearly two hours. Uh, 
uh, which is uh, really disappointing i have used 33 watt adapter of course but yeah after that uh, we'll see the 3d mark graphical oriented performance i actually didn't test these things in the miui if you are currently using miui you can run these test cases and you can uh, find it whether it is better than your current miui or not so this one is currently having a 3.22 vulcan with the 3. Point, sorry 622 vulcan score it got with the 3.73 screen uh, fps average which is uh, not that great i would say and for the pro this processor is mostly based on the multitasking and uh, energy efficient one for 5g and all so yeah second thing is this uh, camera to api well camera to api is enabled by default in miui also nowadays it's happening it's in level 3 so i have uh, even installed the gcam which is not that great but uh, in the back camera the uh, hdr wise it is really really great so i like it a lot so yeah it is there and i have also run the stress level uh, which i was uh, getting around uh, 72 to 73 percentage uh, it is holding its uh, yeah so 72 to 73 percentage uh, the performance peak it is uh, managing uh, my previous uh, note 11 used to maintain at above 90 and all so which is great but i don't know whether it is good or not but definitely miui will be giving very less when compared to this also i, I have uh, run the uh, have tested the drm status it is l1 so you can watch it uh, all the what i would say um ott platform in full hd there is no uh, any licensing issue or not and i have also run the 3d mark sorry geekbench so geekbench score uh, geekbench 6 it is actually so it is uh, we are having in single core of uh, 637 and multi core of 2470 uh what i would say 72 so single core wise it is not at all equal with uh, anyone so it is uh, even um, it is uh, better than poco f1 i would say but uh, less bit a little bit less than the uh, k20 pro but those phones are having really good amount of uh, graphical performance but uh, this one you can't expect so multi core is uh, 200 and uh, sorry 1740 uh, but uh, it is not the even uh, it is same as redmi poco f1 okay so it's same as poco f1 so you also can run this in your miui and you can check it uh, if it is same or not and uh, graphical oriented wise open gl open CL score we have 458 which is okay -ish. also i have tested the safety net uh, which is passing by uh, default you no need to install any hide or something so all the banking apps should work and uh, 5g is working uh, fine i have uh, tested it and uh, bluetooth audio it's working uh, headphone jack working fine calling also fine there isn't uh, much of an issue but there is one uh, thing which i have noticed uh, that is if you set uh, if you if you are first time you are inserting sim card and uh, making a call uh, you uh, you are receiving a call the ring won't uh, even uh, happen that is due to this uh, particular rom is not at all setting the ringtone so as soon as you have to ins you install the custom this rom you have to go here and set all the ringtone i have set here you can see right you have to click it will be none you have to set it so that uh, issue is uh, there uh, we'll come to those uh, in the end of this video and also i have uh, played uh, bgm it has a gaming uh, mode as well not gaming mode, it's gaming da gaming dashboard where it will be showing fps so in ultra settings uh, high-end settings uh, with the high fps i am getting around 25 to 30 fps which is uh, not that playable but if you set it to medium or low with the higher frame rate you will be getting around uh, 40 fps this particular processor is not uh, that capable for gaming so yeah considering that it is uh, okay -ish. you can play the games in low settings with the high frame rate not high frame rate decent level what another good things well pixel feel and uh, uh, quick switch uh, this look everything is uh, these and all good things bad uh, well it is not bad i would say but it if it were it if it was there it would be good so what are all those well it doesn't have a default miui camera uh, if it had any MIUI uh, Leica camera, that would have been great. And there is no uh, MI audio enhancer, uh, which we will typically get in other uh, uh, Redmi devices with the custom ROM. So you will be having different kind of configuration for headphones. So that is missing here. So that is there. And screen flow, which is not that great. It has some jittering effect whenever there is a smooth animation is uh, going on. 
and as i said the ringtone you have to set it manually so these are all some of the things which is uh, having a issue but if you are fine with these all things well you can uh, go ahead and use this row there isn't uh, much of a issue you will be facing uh, but what i would suggest is uh, after right after i installing this one and made every video and all start all the testing it there is a new fixel os version got released and uh, that one is uh, like what i would say this it released on 1811 where they have fixed this kind of uh, jittering effect and the ringtone is not set and uh, double tap to wake up so those things all are fixed in that particular latest uh, fixel os i will try to make the link of that one also in the description but i didn't test that i have started testing this so i'm thought to take a review of that also so yeah if you are actually interested you try the latest one if you want if you are fine with this issue you can still try this one also so yeah if you want to install please install nobody is uh, nothing is going to stop you all the link uh, i will leave it in the description of this video you can even watch the installation video to get more idea on this so that's what about a uh, review of this one in our uh, redmi 12 5G. So yeah, thank you for watching. Good photo. Leave a like, subscribe. Important.